This week, a special edition of Coffee and Tools. Uh, I'm dealing with a problem with my bed this week, and so what I'm trying to do is stabilize it. The headboard and the footboard are doing, you know, this this business. Uh, I guess when I was a kid, it was always a great trampoline, and seeing I'm still a kid, right now, even up against the wall, it still has the woogie woogie business, blues, whatever going on. So I guess the first thing we really need to know is what the distance is from here to here. Well, 80 inches and one eighth. This is the second set of bed rails I've tried with this thing. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's the whole thing is just rocking back and forth and moving. And I can't seem to kill this problem. It's at both ends. And so we're gonna just tear this thing up and start over again. But I bought some one by six uh, poplar and we're gonna put an L bracket in here to the poplar. Take this, cut these off, cut the other end off and nail this to the bottom of the board here. But I'm gonna need some marks obviously because I wanna put everything back the way it was. This line right here is great because this is exactly flush with where my new one by will come down through. But on the, the other problem I've got is the height. So I've got to, I'm gonna measure that and then we'll, we'll move on. Wow. And of course it had to be right in the middle of something. So, yeah. We're gonna transfer the mark on the bit. And that way we still have the same height, which is now right here. Okay, looking good. Okay, we're on it. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of this hardware now that I have my marks. And take these off. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And I just put new flooring down. So that's why I'm doing, you know, metal work in the middle of new flooring. So the first thing we're probably gonna do is I guess put these brackets on and they'll be flush on this side because the board's gonna come in on this side of that L bracket. Uh, Go find some screws and let's put this thing in. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how we do here. Uh, yeah. oh, I guess we need some glasses so I can have a good look at this thing. Yep. And let's move you guys in too. Yep, yeah, get a nice close up of that mess. <laughs> uh. Well, don't ever say I don't come prepared. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if I can just chisel this out of here and still retain just enough of this. Yeah. Because all I need to bracket over is a quarter of an inch or I could just live with it the way it is and the wood be hanging out here a little bit. Would prefer flush. Yeah, that's called anal. I think that's what they call that. Yeah, yeah right about there. Yeah. That's bumper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then there's the top of the the top of this bracket is gonna be whew, way up here. It's gonna be like up there. Oops. No. Yeah. Okay, so this ends, same thing. Uh, got it right flush here. Lumber's all nice and tight up against the <clears throat> end of the rail. Can't get, yeah, can't get any tighter than that. So we'll put some screws in her. Yeah. Now as I'm putting these screws in, I'm favoring this side of the holes. So the screws are sort of like pulling. Everything's pulling together. Okay, and it's also very tight, if you can tell. It's a impact gun I'm using. Yep. That way we have a good tight uh, fit. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the clamp off now. Yeah, let's see how that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty tight. I don't think you're gonna. You can't do anything with this. In fact, when I'm doing this, the other side is moving around. So, do the same thing as this. 
on the other side of the bed and then we'll put the cut the rails and put them on the bottom so so I've done the four corners and put that on and now we're going to get the old vacuum out and clean up the cutting mess because otherwise the wife will kill me right now with this mess I just made here I just put new hardwood flooring in so you know yeah it's upsetting really a no-brainer here but I took the rails outside and I took a hand grinder and just knocked the rivets off and then that way I got rid of the hardware now I can I drilled holes that are 3 16 and I've got one two three four five six holes per rail and I'll be screwing these into the lumber and uh, they'll be going on in fact like that and of course this is so the box spring part of the bed whatever can sit back down on this and just basically put everything back where it was but now it's got this in it so that this yeah no longer yeah no longer wiggles or moves around so now comes the fun part yeah <laughs> these these rails and again i'm going to need a couple clamps because what you need to do is just basically bolt these wow bolt these back in back together Okay, and that did not go through, which you're not supposed to, but <clears throat> you never know. All right, now. Yeah. So, now, now we gotta get the clamp off. It shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. And bring her down so she's flush with the bottom. That was where my mark was made for just this purpose. Okay, and we get some screws in there. Screw in it. There we go. And get the other screw on the other end, flush. And all of this should uh, come together really quick. That's I hope. That's yeah, my hope, anyway. Yeah. And hopefully, because this is screwed to a, a piece of, like, I guess we'll say virtually angle iron, these bed pieces. I guess we're sort of adding strength to the bed too as well. A little bit, not much, but yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> put these little screws in. But they're stainless steel, <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. they? Ah, oh, stainless steel sheet metal screws. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right. Everything is right, and the fact that this is right, these should go back on just nicely. Let's see if I. Yep, yeah, there they go. There. And yes, to there. Yeah, that's the way they were set for some reason. They're not a, actually hitting the floor. That's good. Now, back here, same thing. Just sort of, I guess you could say this is proof of that you've got the right size. <laughs> As, uh, otherwise, if these don't go in, we would have a problem. Yeah, um, yeah there we go. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Get the hammer, chisels junk out of here. Let's see if I got somebody that wants to put a bit back together. Wow. Yeah. Major, major poop. Uh, like I said, that's the cheapest way to do it that I know of. Oh. And there is, there's probably even cheaper, but I don't think I'm quite cheaper than that. So hopefully, Hopefully that helps you a little bit. It's a cheap way to do, do a, a repair on a bed in this situation. Uh, I was all over the internet, and like I said, Rockler was another place you could go look, but a lot of money involved, where this is only a few dollars, technically, and uh, it'll do the trick. So hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I get to sleep in here tonight. <laughs>